All right, people, Mark here with the first ever battle report for six plus save. I will give you a proviso right now. The Syrian hamster to my right has wanted to say hello to everyone. So if you hear a slight rustle in the background, that's him just basically going hello and all that. All that little jazz, he's just trying to be a little cutie. But anyway, so as you can see in front of you, it is Underworld, and it is going to be the Steel Heart Champions versus Garax Reavers. So, so you can see, there's obviously Mr. Steel Heart himself, and Garak himself as well. I've got, obviously, with COVID going on when this is being recorded. I've got my better half, Kelly, with me. So this is Kelly's second time ever playing Underworld. She played it well over a year ago. So this is going to be a refresher for her as well as myself. So um, we're going to have as little cuts in the video as possible to keep it nice and smooth. But obviously this is the board set out. We're going to do the roll-offs in a moment to see who goes first puts down the objectives and has this as an introductory video for people to see how Underworld actually plays. Catch you in a minute. Alright, so we're back. We've obviously decided which warband's going to be with who. So I've got the Steelheart Champions and Kelly, you've got... Garrick's Reavers. Yep, spot on. Um... I, I don't know why you picked them, but I let you pick who you wanted to do. Well, basically, I'd like an our warband that's got big, brutal axes, with a bit of detail and a bit of facial hair on the men. Oh, okay, so I'll remember that next time I look at my dwarf models. Um, anyway, <laughs> so, this is really simple. We're going to have a roll-off a minute. So you got your... Kelly will have four dice. I'll have four dice. Whoever has the high, highest amount of the crits... Oops, sorry for knocking the camera. Whoever has the highest amount of these crit dice wins the roll off. Oh, that went smooth. Uh, no um, one got that. So let's do that again. So basically you keep rolling until someone beats them on crits. Nope. This is slightly embarrassing. I got one crit. You're prob got you got two. two crits. So basically you now <laughs> get to grab the objectives and start placing them down. Rule of thumb, they can't be on a summoning point, terrain piece, or any of these edge objectives. Okay, so the first one I'm going to place there. Yep, and they're completely random which ones we got, so we don't know until we flip them over in a minute. I'm going to put that one there. Yep. All right, so let's flip them over. So I have two, one, and They're five. Five, and then three and four over here. So now we'll start deploying. Obviously, you got to put down the first objective. So I'll put down my first guy, even though it's not really going to make much difference because I got three guys to your five. So I'll place down my... Steel heart in there, you crack on then. Okay, I'm going to put Garak there. Cool, I am going to put Bjorn. Well, not Bjorn, sorry, the bold back there. Parsis. You can go there, buddy. And then I'm going to have Bright Shield near objective four and then you just place them down as you see fit yeah so it just leaves me to place zeke which i'm putting there arnulf you can go there and targor you can go there apologies if i've said the names wrong i'm trying my best <laughs> it's all good so let's roll off to see who actually takes the first turn so obviously the same again crits I've got one. You got one crit, so you get to choose if you want to go first or second. I will go second. 
Fair enough. So let's crack on. So obviously we've already pre-drawn out our objective cards, which you have three of. Whenever you claim an objective card, you basically replace it straight away. You can only ever have three at a time. And then we got our power cards. We've got five to the side as well. Make the video a bit more concise for you. So obviously I'm gonna be I'm gonna be told to go first. So what I'm going to do is have my Steel Heart for one activation. He is going to charge into your big axe guy. Carsis. Carsis. One, two. Straight in. And he's going to swing with his, what's it called? A Sigmarite Broadsword. Well, it is quite substantial. And so I need, on the card, I roll two attack dice. I need crits or hammers to actually hit you. And then we'll go from there. I got one hammer. So obviously you roll your defense dice, which I presume is one evasion dice. Uh, yes. Yep, so you're looking for a crit or the arrow evasion. Ooh, here we go. No. no, regrettably, and that is two wound damage to your classes. Actually, that's not classes. It's Zeke. Apologies. Yeah, you got Zeke there. <laughs> it's all good. It's They've all both good. got big axes. Yeah, no, nah, it's all good. So I, uh, now it's the power turn after the activation. I'm not going to activate any cards. Are you going to activate any of your power cards? Mm, too early at this stage. There you go. So it's now your actual activation. Oh, goody. My go. Okay. So I am going to attempt to hit him back as he hit me uh, with two dice. And I need to get the hammer. Which I don't. Okay, so you're not going to activate anything from your power turn or anything like that? No, it's still too soon, I think. Don't worry. So I'm going to activate uh, my bright shield to go in on a charge because she can move three up to three hexes. One, two, three. She is actually going to go after your axe man as well and she's going to see if she's got some joy now because i've got someone in support when i roll my three attack dice anything that is a partial support is classed as a hit as well so i'm looking for hammers or you know hammers crits and partial supports so i've got two partial supports and a crit so you need to obviously roll to see what's happened so if you roll a crit negates it no. no so her two damage goes straight through and that zeke bye bye so because i've slain an enemy i get a glory straight off the bat and I get to score an objective straight off the bat by killing an opponent after I've charged as well, which is quite handy. And then I'll draw another objective to replace that. Um, then I will leave it there. I won't activate any powers. So it'd be, you know, if you want to activate anything, you can, or straight onto your activations. I'm just going to go straight on to activation. Uh, who am I going to go for next? Okay, so on off. Now I can move you four. One, two, and three. Oh, you're going to charge? Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh. 
Uh, right, so I am going to attack him. Uh, I need two of my dice. Bit more cinematic than staring each other off. Uh, Which what? does nothing. Ooh. Oh, you. No, sorry, I caused two. No, 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 you rolled two, so yes, you got the blade, so that's one of your attacks has gone through. Mm -hmm. So I. Good. So one didn't, so I need to roll one defense dice of either a crit or a shield to stop it going through. And it didn't, so what damage is that one then? One. One damage, that's fine. I will take the one damage. Okay, let's see if I can activate anything. Nope. Doesn't look like I can. Nope, on to you. Okay, so I can only really move the bold or do anything with bold right now because those two have attacked. So what I'll do, I'll just move him and I'll leave him like that. <laughs> uh, I think I think two, Bear wants to come out and actually three. see us. He keeps chewing his cage while we're playing. Okay, it's my go. Okay, so could I'm you have moved? I'm not within reach. Could you have moved them any further? Hang on, how many? Did... Oh no, sorry. I'm there you one. go. So you're gonna go Let's after count. you're gonna go after Shawheart, yeah? Yeah, well attempt to. Yeah. <laughs> so I need to roll two. So you need swords, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh you got a got crit. Critical. So and, gets through. Uh you didn't get the support though, because I've got one guy supporting Shawheart. You've got one guy supporting your one, so they knock each other out. So you've got the crit, so I do need to roll a crit to obviously stop that going through. You're really going after my sure, sure heart. Hey, you nope. take me first. Okay, so how much damage is that? That is one. All right, so he's down. Slowly getting you. So he's halfway there. Halfway there. Um, you're going to do anything? Um... No, not at this stage. Okay, cool. What I am going to do, activate my turn, and I will use one of my power cards to sidestep Bright Shield. To basically, block you getting to Shore Heart with any other guys there. And that is my turn done. Okay, Targo, you're moving, pal. Yeah, I'll keep there. Okay, then I am going to attack Bright Shield. Okay. Two dice. So bright shield being attacked. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, I will. And so what are you I hitting on? Swords. You're hitting on the swords. And you got a crit and swords. Oh god. Uh, that causes one damage. So I need to roll a crit to stop it. If not, one damage is coming through. I rolled a crit. Fluke. So that stopped the damage. And because I rolled that, she gets inspired. So she gets some new abilities and her stats goes up. So that's perfect for me. So that's the end of turn one. What we're going to do, we'll pause it there, tally up if we've got any objectives, and come back to turn two. Catch you in a minute. All right, back for turn two. We've obviously sorted out any power cards, any upgrades that we wanted. 
Um, I'm up to three glory at this moment in time. I've spent them to upgrade some of my characters. Um, Kelly, you've removed some of your unwanted objective cards, haven't you? And power cards and got the new ones. I've done the same. So if we do a roll off to see who goes first in turn two. This is a three turn game. So I got an object. Uh, I got a critical. I got none. Okay, so I'll go first a moment. And we'll basically go the same again. So I'll activate one of my little tokens. And what I am going to do. Oh, because you're piling in on Shore Heart. What I am going to do is actually swing with sure heart um i think what may be wise to do is actually get sure heart to charge around so he's out of your contact here so he's going to move his three spaces one two three to attack your guy behind and be supported by bright shield mm -hmm. Alright, so it kind of gets you away from these guys over here. So I'm going to roll my two attack dice. I need hammers for it. So let's see how this goes. Hammers or crits. Uh, I do get a support from that one because obviously I've got bright shield supporting. I thought as if they were within one space. Yeah, so she is in one space of him. She is supporting. Oh, linked. That Okay, yes, basically cool. linked. So, luckily there's no crit, so you just need to roll one of your defense die. And if you get a crit or an evasion, you're all good. Come on. Regrettably not. Okay, so that is damage? Three damage. What? Yep, that's his broadsword. Three well, damage. Well, that's Torgor out then. Yeah, he is very strong. Um... But, as you can kind of gather from the previous turn, he doesn't hit as often as you'd like. But it's because of the amount of damage he pumps out. But that's him done. Um, basically, now it's the power turn. Do you want to activate anything? Yeah, I'm going to activate my Blood Offering card. Objective. Yep. Choose a friendly fighter. They suffer one damage. I need to roll two extra attack dice for their first attack action in the next activation. Cool. So who who are you gonna do, do you have to allocate that? Choose a friendly yep. Yeah. So who is um, gonna be your friendly fighter? Oh choose. No 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 friendly fighter. Oh friendly fighter. Miss Red. <laughs> I'm going to choose Carcass. Yep, so Carcass takes a wound. Because obviously you sacrifice the wound. So now when you obviously do your attack, you get to roll two extra dice for it. Cool. Alright, so it's my turn to see if I want to do a power or not. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use um, Healing Potion. I'll roll a defense dice. I'm going to use it on Shawheart. If I roll a shield or a crit, he removes two wound tokens from himself. He doesn't. He just removes one wound token. So now he's back up to three wounds. And that's that power done. You got any power you want to do, you know, again? Yeah, I'm going to activate my Great Strength card. One plus damage to all attack actions. Regrettably, you can't. That's an equip card. You haven't got any glory. Is. Don't worry. <laughs> got too excited. Okay, so I presume it's your turn to actually... Move. Move. <laughs> because you've put it on your chain guy... He's got two different attack characteristics. He's got one at range one and one at range two. So you could use him on Bright Shield 
and you get a support from it because obviously you got your guy on objective five tag teaming, if you want to put it that way. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of doing anyway. <laughs> oh, okay, there you go. Done, done. I'll keep my mouth shut. There you go. I'll let you carry on. I'll let you carry um, on. Excuse me. So, I'm going to use... Oh, excuse me, hiccups. Yeah, so it's... His the... Brutal Chop, which means I get to roll three dice. And yeah. I'm looking for the swords. Oh, remember, use the power. So you get to roll two more. Okay, so that's all five. So basically, you're going right off the right shield. Yep. Come on. So I've got a critical. And you've got two, two supports. Two supports. Okay, so now so I need to roll a minimum of a crit to block it. She gets to roll two shields. And basically, I need a crit on this to stop the damage. Nope. Um, so what damage was that then? That causes two. No, it was one. No, I used the brutal shop. No, no, no. It's one because it's range. If you look, you done the range one. So it's one damage. But it's oh, still one damage. It's still one damage. That's why you're cheating then. <laughs> so it's one damage. On my um, bright shield. Um, anything you want to activate in your power, or all good? No, nope, not for a minute. Cool. I am. I'm gonna choose um, the brave a minute. Oh, the bold, not the brave. My bad. To do a charge attack at your chain guy. So he's gonna go straight in and do a charge attack. And he is going to hit you with two hammers. And we'll see what happens. Oh, I get one crit. Okay, let's see if I can save it. No. You don't. Um, now, with his ability, he has knockback one. So, when you normally win combat... You can, we did forget to do this before, you move them one place, knock back one, I can displace them two spaces, two hexes. Basically in combat, you hit with such force, you knock them back. Alright, you stagger the opponent back. But, his grand hammer is three damage. So that's him out. However, what's the inspiring criteria for your guys, if I remember correctly? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Is it if three or more fighters are dead, they get inspired? They do. So if you want to flip over both your cards, but for your guys that are still with us... They are inspired. Cool. Alright, so what are you going to do now then? It's your turn, basically. Okie <laughs> dokie. So I've only got two characters left. I am going to move Garrick onto there. Yeah. And that's it. That's it. Cool. That's your move done. Um, what I'm going to do is... Bold done his charge of move. He can't do anything. Sureheart can't do anything. I am going to get Bright Shield to try and clobber your guy on Objective 5. Or attempt to. So Bright Shield... She has either her Sigmarite hammer, where she can uh, basically hit you three times with hammers. So let's see what she can do. Oh, I got two crits. 
and a miss. So obviously, and that is, I regret to say, two damage. <laughs> oh, tokens. There you go. How many damage? Two. Oh, great. <sighs> so, we, um, yeah, I can't do anything in the power phase. Well, I don't want to do anything in the power phase. Um, your turn, um, because you moved your guy. Unless there's some, you know, something you want to use. I presume that's passing, isn't it? My okay. Blow. Yep. Play this after an enemy's fighter's attack action that takes an adjacent friendly fighter out of action. Oh, let's read that again. Okay, reaction. Play this card after an enemy fighter's attack action that takes an adjacent fighter out of action. Their attackers... Ah, annoyingly, that would work if... Say, for example, Garak was here. If he was in support, is adjacent? Yeah, but I had a guy there and a guy there. Oh, so you mean before? You didn't play it when it happened? <laughs> okay, I'll allow you to play it now. Don't worry. So, Bright Shield takes... She takes a wound. One damage. Okay. So, she's now down to two wounds. Yeah, that, that's the one thing with Underworld you've got to get used to, is all in hex and adjacent. There's no, like, inches involved. It's all you're adjacent or, you know, spaced apart. There's all that terminology you've got to get used to. Um, so, it's my turn. Um, I can't do anything, so I'll just pass my turn. Obviously, it's your turn. Uh... Not that I can do, really. I presume past the turn? Yeah. Okay. Um, after that quite decisive turn two... <sighs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I'll pause it here, and we'll come back after we sort out what glory, so on and so forth, we gain from that. Be back in a bit. Okay, so turn three. Um, obviously, quite the turnaround. Oh, yeah, on turn two. I'm at five glory. Kelly is at one. However, we've sorted out what objective cards we've got. And what power cards we've got. No, 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 don't worry. I've got three. I've got my three objectives there. Oh. All right. Kelly was like, oh, I've only got two. He's like, don't, don't fret, don't fret. Um, so basically, we're going to roll off to see who's going to go first. Luckily, as I said, Underworld is a three-turn game, so it is very quick. So you can play several games in an evening. Uh, did you get... Yep, you got a crit. So I presume you want to go first with obviously your Garak. Yeah, see what I can do. Yep, we did have a bit of a chat in between recording of what may be wisest to do to try and claw back some glory. So we'll see how you take okay, it. Let's see how it goes. So I'm going to charge him to embrace this evil one. Bright Shield's not evil. She's just very sturdy. Really? She's taking out my characters. She's got a very bright shield. You guys are not used to it. Uh-huh. Right. So you got what two two hammers? Yeah. Sorry about that, thanks. Okay, so crit. you got a crit. No, that's actually genuinely good because if this goes through, that's my bright shield dead. If I don't roll a crit, she is dead. Um Okay, so She's dead. I got an evasion. You've actually slain her. Woohoo! So, if I remember correctly, you get to score a glory for killing her. her. 
plus one of my objectives is basically to have one fighter on each side dead. Yes, well, I've got four dead, you've got one dead. Yeah, so you get two glory. And that's one thing as well with the cards. You've got to try and look at the combinations. The one downside with a card slash base game is it is luck of the cards, but it's making the best you can out of it. So are you going to activate anything in your power turn? See. Don't want to forget, he did charge, so yes, there's a reminder. There you go. Uh, I'm going to activate great strength on him. And um, what does that do? So that is one plus damage to all attack actions with a range of one or two. So he gets an extra damage, so he's now damage four. And he gets an extra defense attack. because of his blood soak. Blood slick. Blood slick. My my Because he's slippery, they can't get a hold of him. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to move in with I'm gonna run with uh the bold to try and just basically get after um Garak. You can try. Yes, you do have that <laughs> bonus defence dice. So I'm going to roll two attacks. Both with hammers or crits to see what goes on. Oh, so only one hammer. But you get to roll an extra defence dice with your upgrade, I believe. Yes. He's got plus one defence with his blood slip. Yeah. Come on, baby. Regrettably, Dumb. not. It is three damage. Three? Yep. He, he does have a Wapagate bloody Sigmarite Grand Hammer. Mm. Ain't something small. But luckily your guy is four wounds. Luckily? Well, it is lucky because <laughs> it, it could have been worse. It could have been worse. Um, Anything you want to activate your turn? Force. I uh, can't really play that one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to use that one, Frenzy. There's one of my bonuses. What you use in so the So I quit. get to use Frenzy. Yep. I get to roll an, an extra attack dice when this fighter makes a charge action. Regrettably, you're not going to be able to make a charge because this is the last turn. It's three turns, and we're on the third turn. I could charge at him. You've already charged. Yeah. But anyway, um, it's my turn now. Um, so, what we'll do is Shawheart is going to go in, and we're going to have a leader versus leader battle. So, Shawheart is going to go in with his two... Swings from his broad sword. Hitting on hammers. Hitting on half moon supports. And crits. Against you. But you do get to roll the extra defense dice. So let's see. If Garak, Garak survives. Two successful hits. But no crits. So as long as you roll... Evasion or crit, you survive. And you survive the game. You survive. You roll yes! two crits. I could not slay you. Because he's a tough. And that... Is all... It's your turn. And there's, I presume, nothing you can do now. Might as well pass, I presume. I mean, I'm tempted to have one last bash me. You can't. Hit you, but I'm going to have to pass. And that is the end of turn three. So we'll pause it there and we'll come back for a summary. Catch you in a minute. All right, so back after turn three for a brief summary of how um, quickly Underworld can go. Um, 
a little bit embarrassed about this, to be honest. Um, obviously, Steel Heart Champions um, finished on eight glory. Um, three of those glories was from denial. Basically, if there's no enemies, enemy fighters in my territory at the end of uh, turn three, I get three glory. That is quite strong. Um, you finished on three. Obviously, the guys marked out with the wound tokens of who have been taken out this game. You did take up my bright shield, and she's quite the tanky character. Um, you know, she gets to roll extra dice anyway. Um, and you did get two glory from taking her out, mm -hmm. as well as the objective. Um, how did you find it? It's quite a good little game. It's quite easy and quick to get into. It takes a little bit of practice to remember when to play your cards at the right time, as I found today. Uh, but no, it's good fun. You can get different warbands, so if you're interested in different things, you can purchase them and play with them. So it's good fun. Cool. So we're definitely going to do some more of these in the future. Obviously, being the first one, any feedback be very much appreciated. Obviously, there is going to be trial and error with how to, you know, edit these videos and get them a bit more concise and, you know, how to record them. You know, I, I myself, I prefer to have the camera directly above the board, but at this moment in time, I don't have the framework to be able to do that. But as I said, any feedback would be very much appreciative. Kelly does want to introduce someone to everyone here who's been making a lot of noise since we started recording. That's Mr. Bear, the Syrian hamster. He normally sniffs my miniatures uh, with me holding my breath. But yeah, so anyway, I'll let you all crack on. Bye, says Bear. Yeah. And hope to hear back from you all shortly. Bye, guys.